Hello and welcome to Polish Teach English channel. Here I show DIYs on how to create wonderful household items from fabric scraps. Sometimes we all face this moment when a favorite piece of clothing no longer fits us for different, tasty reasons. I have some jeans that won't be worn again, so let's try to upcycle them. I'll carefully cut the top of the jeans. I would like to use it in another project. And carefully cut the legs along the seam and unfold the canvas. Sewing from such fabric is difficult. Let's cut them in squares 15 by 15 centimeters. In my work, besides jeans, I will use other thick fabrics. The glue fabric is the remnants of the raincoat. I also have samples of upholstery fabric. As much as I could, I cut squares out of it. I decided not to use places with glue residues in the work at all. And I still have pieces of tapestry. I sewed a blanket out of a large piece and I still have a small piece. And in total I got 80 squares of dense fabric. I also cut a synthetic winterizer pieces measuring 15 by 15 centimeters. Immediately quilted the dense fabric with padding polyester. The stitch can be made in different ways but two diagonal stitches will be enough. Stretch the denim. We lay it loosely on a synthetic winterizer. We sew carefully, hold it with both hands so that it does not stretch. We fix the seams. We do not break the threads, we sew all the blanks at once. After we have sewn on one diagonal, we sew on the other. I want to make the canvas double-sided. For the reverse side, I cut out squares of coarse calico and chins, measuring 21 by 21 cm. There will be 5 colors in this work, 16 pieces each. There are 80 squares in total. I drew a laid out diagram. All fabrics are numbered. We will sew the entire canvas in vertical rows at once. First, we connect pieces 1 and 2 of the column. We work according to the scheme. Take shred number 1 and attach number 2 to it. Attention! We will lay the seam at a distance of 3 cm from the edge. You can draw this line with a water-soluble marker on every part. We sew all the shreds according to the scheme. We do not break the threads. Collect them with a garland. We collect all the canvas at once. We attach shreds of three columns to the first and second columns, then the fourth, and so on. Everything is kept at the seams. All squares were sewn together. On the other hand, there are wide seam allowances. And now the task is to take an iron and carefully iron these allowances on two sides. I will have a double-sided canvas and keep everything on the seams and threads. Now, in the inner packets we outline the lines of the allowances. I have a line width of 3 cm, it's very good. We will insert a quilted piece of thick fabric into each pocket. When working at a sewing machine, the part is laid and we fold the three edge of thin fabric twice and fasten it with a stitch. The canvas turns out to be double-sided. To decorate this side, dense pieces can also be stacked in the order you want. I decided to just alternate the tapestry and colored fabric in a checkerboard pattern. Place the canvas as it is convenient for you. The large part is on the left. I like to show and tell everything in great detail. No one has died of knowledge yet. Although the skeleton in the biology office is alarming. The outer edge can be also drawn immediately. We fold the allowance and sew. Naturally, we do not break the threads.
When many squares have already been inserted, we will unfold the canvas so that most of it is on the left side. And for the convenience of work, we will use an attachment table so that everything fits snugly exactly on the same plane with the needle plate. And from the seamy side, everything turns out smoothly and neatly. After all the squares of dense fabric are in place, we will sew the entire canvas horizontally. It is very good that the threads didn't break. The docking is clear. We fold and sew the details. We lay the seam along the edge of dense parts. In the course of work, we can immediately see what happens. When we have sewn the entire canvas, we need to deal with these allowances. From the outside everything is clear, we make a double hem and lay a line. You remember that the whole canvas was kept on the connecting seams. And now we take scissors, we cut these threads, we unfold the allowances on two sides. It remains only to fold and sew each allowance. It turned out to be a wonderful baby blanket plaid, measuring 120 by 150 centimeters. The most interesting thing is that it can grow with its owner. Over time, you can add more rows around the edges and increase the size of the blanket. So I hope that you've liked the DIY and enjoy creating a piece in this technique for your family. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, like and comment this video. See you in the next episode.